Before the video starts, I just want to let you guys know that we are actually giving away a free PS4 and Xbox One at the end of the month. To enter into the giveaway, all you guys have to do is subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and comment that you subscribed to win. Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Das here, or District Trending, and I'm bringing you guys 5 facts that every Lil Uzi Vert fan should know. Now, if you are a Lil Uzi Vert fan, I want you to hit an early like on this video just to see, I just want to like see who is actually a Lil Uzi Vert fan. And by the way, I uploaded a Top 7 Richest Young Rappers video yesterday that was insane. Lil Uzi Vert is actually in that video, so if you want to go check that out after this video, there will be a link of that in the description down below, which I highly suggest you go watch. But anyways guys, before we get into the video, as always, I gotta give the notification shout out of the video that is going to my boy Teresa that's actually not even a boy I'm too used to saying boy I'm so sorry but that's going to my girl Teresa shout out to you thank you so much for having the channel notifications on if you are new to the channel and you would like a notification shout out at the start of my next video all you have to do guys is turn on channel notifications leave a like on the video and comment notification squad to be entered in tomorrow's video and I just want to point out if you are new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button as well comment down below saying you subscribed and I'll personally reply to you and go check out your YouTube channel and possibly even subscribe. So anyways guys, we're gonna get into this five facts of Lil Uzi Vert that every fan should know. But before we do, I'm just gonna give you a quick little rundown just in case you don't know who Lil Uzi Vert actually is. So Lil Uzi Vert is actually an American hip hop recording artist based in Philadelphia. He, he gained recognition after releasing his debut single, Money Longer, that so many people have heard. I don't know how many of you guys actually still listen to that song, but I still do today. It's actually a very great song. Other mixtapes that he's gain lots of recognition for is love is rage Luzi vert first the world the perfect love tape and just so on Luzi vert has so many great songs and albums and just mixtapes he is one of my favorite artists for sure. Uzi is currently only 23 years old with a net worth of $3 million. Uzi was also a part of the 2016 XXL freshman class that helped boost his career so much more. I don't know how many of you guys actually know what the XXL freshman class is, but every single year, um, the company XXL will pick up uh, like about 5 to 12 rappers that are on the like, that are on the rise for this year and then make them do this like nice little freestyle all together and it's really cool if you haven't go watch it i highly suggest you do just go type in double xl freshman class on youtube and you'll be sure to go find them and for a lot of people who are wondering who you know how he got signed and stuff like that uzi actually his rapping skills were noticed by a, a producer named don cannon who heard one of uzi's songs being played on the radio by dj diamond cuts uzi was later signed to a record deal with dj drama anyways guys so now that you know a little bit about uzi vert i'm gonna get into the five facts that every fan should know but also i want you to comment down below right now what is your three favorite little uzi vert songs i'll tell you mine right now off the top of my head it's gonna be paradise money longer and then probably erase your social. Alright guys, so starting at the fifth fact that every Lil Uzi Vert fan should know is that obviously it's going to be his personal information. So if you are an Uzi fan and you do not know this, I would highly suggest you remember this stuff just in case people ask you. So basically, he was actually born July 31st, 1994 in Philadelphia. His real name is actually Symir Wood. Growing up in Philly, he was into watching anime and people in school would always bug him about it because he was kind of like an outsider because of that. Growing up, he actually really loved skateboarding and listening to rock music. He stated in an interview that getting it, like making it out of Philly was really tough and he's really grateful on how everything is going in his rap career. Now me personally, I'm from a pretty nice neighborhood, so I don't really know how bad, like how good, like how bad situations are in certain places. Like I know I did tons of videos on people from like the Bronx and stuff like that. So I'm not really sure on how, you know, things are over there, but they always state that they're very like bad situations. And it's kind of crazy to think that A Boogie said in an interview that only like in bad neighborhoods, so like the Bronx, Philly, and then like, even the bad parts of Florida, only like one in every like 5,000 people actually make out of it. All right guys, so for the fourth fact that every Luzi Vert fan should know is this how he got his name. So how he got his name was actually pretty cool. So he, in high school, he started making a lot of raps because he's seen his friend do it. So he started doing it. And I guess some random guy at school came up to him one day and said his his music was awesome. Luzi Vert said in a interview and I quote, the guy came up to him and said, you literally spit rhymes like a machine gun, kind of like a Lil Uzi machine gun. So Lil Uzi Vert actually took that name and it was originally just Lil Uzi for the first bit, but I guess there was a lot of like things with search rankings and stuff like that. Cause like, if you type Lil Uzi, obviously like the guns are going to come up. So we changed his name to Lil Uzi Vert 
A lot of people actually don't know what the vert stands for, and the vert is for verticals, because that's how he wants to go in the music industry, is so straight up. Which honestly, if you kind of think about it, it is a pretty cool name, Lil Uzi Vert. It's definitely unique, that's for sure. Alright guys, so for the third fact that every Lil Uzi Vert fan should know, is going to be his height. Now, not a lot of people actually know what his height is, just because Lil Uzi does not like talking about it. Now, Lil Uzi Vert's height is actually only 5'7", which is absolutely crazy to think. Now, just picture this, the US average height for males is actually 5'10", to like 6'1", it's in that region, I just looked it up on Google, so him being 5'7", is actually very short. Now, he doesn't like talking about it for some reason, but honestly, I think it's fits his personality just perfect to me personally it actually fits his style perfectly just because how he is in concerts how he is in music videos and stuff like that if you ever seen a Lil Uzi Vert concert or ever been to one you would notice how he likes to like jump off the stage you know do crowd dives he likes to be jumping around and stuff like that if you're a taller person it's not going to be that easy especially if you're doing stage dives if you're doing stage dives and you're like six foot three two hundred pounds and you're expecting a bunch of your fans to catch you at the bottom they're not going to because you're going to fall right onto them. But Lil Uzi Vert is only 5'7", around 120 pounds. Alright, so for the second fact that every Lil Uzi Vert fan should know, that his mom actually did kick him out of the house when he was younger because he wasn't amounting to much. It's kind of odd if you think about it now just because of his net worth and stuff, how he is today. But he is fine with his mom now, like everything is good, he always gives her money and stuff like that. For the reasoning of her mom kicking him out is because he actually never did good in school and can never actually hold a job. I have a couple friends who are just like that, I mean they finished high school but them holding a job for longer than a couple weeks is actually pretty rare for them. So Lil Uzi Vert's mom kicked him out of the house because he couldn't finish high school and he couldn't keep a job. Lil Uzi Vert said he worked at a grocery store called The Bottom Dollar as he was a kid. Not really a kid, it was more of his teenage years after he dropped out of high school so pretty much he dropped out of high school. His mom forced him to get a job and he only had two weeks to do so, he got the job at Bottom Dollar Grocery. And then he only worked for a total of four days. So after that four days and then he actually got fired from the job, his mom kicked him out of the house and he was forced to go live with his grandmother. But it was kind of weird because a couple months after he got fired, Bottom Dollar Grocery actually went out of business. So it's kind of karma for, you know, kicking him out of the store, but still... Lil Vert, if it wasn't for him going to his grandma's house, he never said he would have made it to where he is today, just because of this next fact that I'm about to tell you. Alright guys, so if you're watching to this point right now, because you're curious to see what the first fact is, I want you to comment down below saying Subway. Alright guys, so starting at the first fact, I had to put this first, because if it wasn't for these facts right here that I'm about to tell you, he never would be where he is today, and we never would have had any of his music, because he would still probably be in... Philadelphia doing something. For the first fact, Lil Uzi Vert actually looks up to many artists being ASAP Rocky, Kanye West, Wiz Khalifa, just to name a few, but he also looked up to Marilyn Manson the absolute most just because of his style and personality. Growing up, Lil Uzi Vert, as I said earlier in the video, loved listening to rock music. Marilyn Manson actually fit that perfectly because he had the nice style, he had the nice music for his for Lil Uzi Vert's taste. And Lil Uzi Vert actually said that Marilyn Manson's style, sure it was a little funny, but if you were actually a fan of him, he thinks that his style actually competed with people like Kanye, people like Pharrell Williams, a bunch of them famous rappers. Growing up when Lil Uzi Vert was, you know, being in inspired by Marilyn Manson and stuff like that, his first ever CD bought from his grandmother, because remember he had to go live with her, was actually a CD from the Ying Yang Twins. Now it was the only CD he owned, so that thing was on repeat 24-7. Now because that was on repeat so much, he actually started making his own little rap songs in a little notepad that his grandmother gave him. Now I'm kind of curious to see if Lil Uzi Vert actually still has that notepad full of his old songs that he wrote because I think that'd be pretty cool but still that is actually how we got started now guys that you know those five Lil Uzi Vert facts you are officially a full fan of Lil Uzi so if you are watching this point make sure you leave a like on the video comment down below who you want me to make a video about next anyways guys it has been district trending we'll see you tomorrow with another video anyways guys peace out